Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Clash of Clashes, the Rumble of the Resin, the Filament Fight Night itself, the Maker Retreat Hook Contest. Our makers have been split into four teams, each electing a lead designer, each with a hook that they swear is unbreakable. But by the end of tonight, three will be lying in shards, crying into their empty spools, while one, just one, will hoist the trophy of tensile triumph. Right then, folks, let's meet the contenders. First up, the yellow team, hand-picked for his engineering mind. Their captain needs no introduction. It's Tom Stanton, aerospace engineer turned YouTuber. Tom leads Team Yellow into battle. Hello from Yellow. In green, it's Repcord's very own, Alan Puccinelli. Chosen for his relentless creativity and reputation as the king of filament chaos, Alan is the driving force behind Team Green. We're me, we're, we're green. green, we're here to steal the sea. Flying the banner in blue, engineer Emma from Project Air. <laughs> Selected for her experimental genius and fearless approach to design, Emma leads Team Blue. Blue team. Blue team. And last but not least, the mighty oh. red team, led by the man behind proper printing himself, John, picked for his rock-solid designs and proper no-nonsense printing power. John commands Team Red. Red to win death. Joining me in the commentary box is Bill, who's going to explain the rules. Thanks, Ben. Here's how it works. We've got a round-robin format, four teams, head-to-head. -head. Every team goes head-to-head -head once. But the real spice, each team must fight their battles once with PLA, PETG, and ABS. That's right, no backing the same horse, and everybody's got to test their metal with the shoulder and holy trinity of plastics. A weight limit of 50 grams. Hooks must attach to the 8 millimeter diameter shackle bar without removing the bar. Uh, any mechanisms must be print in place. Take us through the material options, Ben. PLA, prints smoother than a Sunday pint, but snaps faster than a dodgy pub chair. Featuring a tensile strength of 52 megapascals, this famously brittle filament leads the way in tensile strength. PETG, tough as nails. Only one megapascal behind PLA in strength, but an extra 2% on elongation at break. And ABS, warps like a banshee. But if you can tame it, it's an absolute monster in the pull test. What lacks in strength is made up in elongation with a whopping 18%. The chain is locked, the hooks are linked. It's geometry against geometry, layers against layers. Every round, another hook will crack under the pressure until we whittle down to the final showdown. And here's the kicker. In the grand finale, the gloves are off. The teams can choose any material they like. It's strategy, it's strength, it's shattering plastic and shattering egos. Enough chit chat, let's get into this. Match one, it's red versus Yellow. Yellow team have weighed in slightly overweight at 50.4 grams, so Nick is doing some last minute shaving to get this hook under the legal weight yep. limit. Both teams are backing themselves here as we have a PLA versus PLA showdown, so this match is going to be purely about the design. Red team slightly lighter at 46.5 grams. Only time will tell if that weight advantage translates to a result. Okay, the hooks are loaded. Over to our hoist master on the ground, Matt Denton. 100. 20, 50, 70, 5, 90, 200, 50, 5, 300, 50, 70, 80, 90, 400, 450, 70, 90. The red team's hook is on the floor, but still looks in good shape. That's first blood to the yellow team with a breaking weight of 481 kilograms. It seems like the latch mechanism of this design is the weak point. The more flexible materials might suit this design better. Next up for our second match, it's green versus blue. Green team are taking ABS and blue team have opted for PLA. These two are in close contention with a weight difference of only 0.2 grams. When they come up against red and yellow, they will be at a severe weight disadvantage. Anyway, on with the show. The hooks are loaded. Let them rip, Matt. 75, 80, 90, 100. Ooh, 113. A deflated reaction from our hoist master as the green team seals the victory with a breaking weight of 116 kilograms. But it seems both of our designers have been conservative on the weight limit. 
leaving almost 15 grams unaccounted for. Next up, it's red versus green, a battle between PETG and ABS. Green team have their head held high with a first round win, but 15 gram weight disadvantage, they will have their work cut out for them. 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 90, 100. I guess it makes sense because it would yes a tiny bit of separation multiplies gone down back to 200. Down again. Slowly unraveling. 250, 270, 280, 290, 260 again. It's unraveling and breaking at the moment. It's starting to break. 300, 325, 330, 340. 50. That could have gone either way, Ben. Green Team's hook showed promise there, but the teeth in this design meant only the inner layers are engaged, which why we see a failure mode from inside to out. Still a very impressive break weight of 353 kilograms. Can only wonder how this hook would fare at full weight with all layers engaged. Right then, it's match four, yellow versus blue. The yellow team looked convincing in the first round and the blue team yet to get out of the blocks. The yellows are coming in with an eight gram weight advantage here and they've chose ABS to take on the blue team's PETG. Ooh, 50 kg, that's where it went last time in design. 50 kg is starting to break at the class. 65, 75. 100, 100, 20, 25, 150, it's really stretching, 130, <laughs> it's gone down because it's stretched. <laughs> The yellow team have analyzed the other team's hooks pre-match here and played the right hand at the right time. They recognized the red team as the threat and took their PLA hook out of contention early. Amazing to see an extra 100 kilograms even after the class started to yield. Anyway, that's two out of two from the yellow team. <laughs> like, Up next, it's an all PETG showdown as the greens take on the yellows. Take it away, Matt. In the end, the yellow team take the win to continue their streak. And finally, another high stakes battle with a breaking weight, pushing the half ton. Our last match of the round robin, it's red versus blue. Red team have looked strong tonight. A win here will put them into the final. We've got a PLA versus ABS battle, and our contenders have been favoring the PLA so far. However, in this fight, blue team's PLA hook is underweight by six grams. Again, we see blue team's class start to fail around 50 kilograms. Oh, 
stage she was building. 100 kilograms, here we go, 100k. And 20, and 30. I believe it's starting to separate. On 50 and 60. Oh. It's about 170, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> 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 OK, folks, to recap the standings after the round robin, the undefeated yellow team goes straight into the final, taking on the mighty reds. The blue team lost all three bouts, and since they have no surviving hook, that puts the green team automatically in third place. The red team have two surviving hooks to choose from. Their ABS hook has undergone the least stress when it beat the blue team at 163 kilograms. Yellow team are in the driving seat here with all three hooks to choose from. Just, uh, the problem is the picture because yeah. it's flexible. Yeah. It's the teeth could give uh, way. Yeah. I feel like this one's still going to Stanton is really backing himself here as the yellow team have put their PLA hook into the final despite its tough round robin. Linked up, the red team have chosen their PETG hook to complete the chain. Bull Choice Ben, considering their design has that weak point on the catch, the ABS hook with the uh, greater elongation uh, could fare better here, and their ABS hook has taken on a lot less strain in the round robin. There's no more waiting. The hooks are locked in now. For one final time, we hand over to Hoistmaster Denton to decide who will be our champion. Here we go. 25, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, oh, not quite. <laughs> and it's all over. The yellow team have reigned supreme, producing a hook that is unbreakable, regardless of material. It's kind of that 400, wasn't it? Started. Amazing stuff, Ben. The crowd is absolutely electric here. But surely we can't end it there. Our contenders are thirsty for destruction. They want to see what 50 grams of PLA can really do. Let's get the winning hook loaded back into the rig and test it to destruction. Let's go to our audience for some bet taking. Yellow team's winning PLA hook is loaded back into the rig. Our audience have cast their vote. It's time to see what 50 grams of PLA can really do. You know it can take two moments and build up quicker. Yeah. 150, 7200. That's a stressful one, sorry. 300. It's scary. <laughs> 400. <laughs> 500. 666. <laughs> 600. Oh, <laughs> Seven, 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 Little bit of wee work. <laughs> <laughs> like 
twice by the kitchen <laughs> Is it hot? Yeah, it's yeah. hot. Yeah. It was hollow inside, right inside. <laughs> One point one something tons, amazing. Wow. Excellent stuff. Well, well done. Um, that was the best in the game. Fifty grams of PLA and a bit of engineering magic from Stanton has managed to break the one-ton mark. Now a word from Yellow Team's lead designer, Tom Stanton. Fillets of the internal corners, which like if you don't do, or like 3D printer in for those would be sharp internal edges. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's filleted so that it spreads a load around the corners. And the reason why it's hollow is because it's, it's basically like the reverse of an I beam. So you move like the strength away from the middle. You want it as thick as possible. So, you know, that was the theory behind it. Fascinating. Because it's all to do with the, the megapascal that they multiplied by the area. Was it divided by? No, it's divided by. Amazing. Three, three full days designing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my next In video is delayed because of this. Oh, wow. <laughs> you should make a video about it, really. I think I might do it on my second shot. Yeah. <laughs> and then I printed it, printed them separate, so then they can have the same like, internal teeth, radius. Ah. Sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> went way too far. Yeah. <laughs> well, it worked. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> That's all, folks. If you enjoyed this evening's fight night, subscribe and find out what else our team's got up to during the Maker Retreat. Good night.